This is generally how it goes for the majority of people that watch my content. You know, half the time, it's good. It's like, lol, 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 and then the other half of the time, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? I've been spotlighted so many times, and I've had a sudden growth in view count so many times. But it's like, chlamydia, only temporary with medication. These views are like a form of chlamydia. You know, it just, it causes problems at first, but then doctors insist that I treat it with antibiotics for a couple weeks and then the views kind of go away like chlamydia. I still don't care about views. I really don't. Well, subscribers are what I really don't care about. I've had hundreds of thousands of views on my videos in the past, tens of thousands of views. It's nothing new. I would prefer views because you can't lose views. You can always lose subscribers. So that's why I don't care about those. So I do enjoy the rare times where I get spotlighted or my, my videos somehow appear in people's recommendation feed. I don't know why YouTube would recommend any of my videos to anyone on YouTube. There has been a couple times that that's happened and and I woke up to thousands of views and notifications. My phone was blowing up with notifications and I just noticed, oh hey, some of my videos got like 30,000 views overnight. What the hell is this all about? But in all honesty, I don't feel like I would like being a YouTube celebrity. I really would not want to have more than a couple thousand people on my videos on a frequent basis because if I ended up turning into one of those super popular people on YouTube that gets hundreds of thousands or even millions of views on all their videos I would feel pressured into changing how I do my videos because we all know how it goes you know a lot of people that make videos and they're popular a lot of those people are sometimes pressured into making their videos in a different kind of way that appeals to their fan base. And for me, I like making videos purely for fun. I don't do it for the money or the fame, and I don't want to be famous because I don't feel like dealing with random viewers pressuring me into changing the way I do my videos, especially if I like the way that I do my videos now. The only time I've ever taken any suggestions from viewers is in regards to my videos is if they said, hey, you should try this. And if if I agree to trying that, then sure, why the hell not if I can do this in a future video because I'm trying to get as many of these videos as I can, so I would take any suggestions that anyone could throw at me at this point. Thousands of comments of people constantly telling me, you should change this on your channel, you should change this in your videos, do this, stop talking like that, stop saying this, do this, do that. It would honestly get really annoying and it would get to the point of where I wouldn't even look at the comments anymore because it would just be annoying. Another thing is I like having a small fan base because I can see every comment and I can usually respond to every comment. I talk to the majority of people that watch my videos, I'm friends with most of them. They don't even know who any of these people are. Like, chances are they're not gonna see more than 1% of those comments. Kind of overwhelming. It really does. If it ever were to happen to me, it's not gonna happen. Even if it does happen on the Being a Retard channel, it really doesn't matter because this channel is officially dead after 10,000, which is like less than 200 more videos to go, and then this channel will be left in the past where it belongs, and I'm gonna move on to bigger and better thing. And then maybe if that channel were to get popular, again, who cares? Because with YouTube, I don't generally stick with one channel. I've had other channels like Nick Drinks Water. Some of you might remember that channel. Not even that long ago. I ended up making 3,000 videos on that. I only wanted to make a thousand but John Drinks Water came back, started making videos again so I just felt like okay well this is weird. I'm just gonna keep going anyway because John is and then a bunch of other people started making channels doing the same thing so I just felt like it was an engaging thing as pointless as it was. One more thing before I go. I want to share this very amusing image of someone sitting on the grass barefoot next to a very happy alligator. Stay tuned for more videos. See you folks.